What's up guys, CP Money here back with another video and when it comes to charging our phones, for quite some time it's been a pretty simple process. Get the charger, plug it in and you are done. However with that being said, with the latest phones coming out with fast charging, a lot of people have raised the question, is fast charging damaging our phones as well things are going a lot faster than what they typically have done. So I guess a lot of us out there can definitely agree that there are a few things that are known for killing phone batteries, whether they'll be heat or charging and discharging. They're kind of just the things you don't want your phone to be doing because at the end of the day, it is gonna kill it. If we've owned a phone for quite some time, we know for a fact that battery life definitely goes downhill, especially as that phone gets older. Again, thanks to the phone heating up and cooling down and also to the fact that you're just charging and discharging the battery. It's just one of those things that we all have to live with. But with that being said, fast charging accelerates the charge rate and also to the possible heat. So are we actually damaging our phones or tablets when we use this fast charging technology? So when I picked up my Huawei P9, I decided to test exactly that. And today we're here with my one year test to see exactly, well, if there's been any real noticeable damage with the particular phone. Now for me, I've been using the Huawei P9 off and on for quite some time. I've also too been using the HTC U Ultra, but both these two phones have been whacked on quick charges every single night for over a year at this point. And well, I guess we better take a look at what we've been going on here. Though with that being said, before we do jump into taking a look at the results of fast charging, we do need to work out and look at how fast charging actually works. And rather than just taking a standard phone and whacking a super powerful charger on this guy, fast charging actually uses a lot more technology than what you may think. Now for the most part, USB power adapters that go ahead and charge up your phone are rated for around 5 volts at 1 amp or anything really less than that. That's kind of your typical USB charger. This is done to keep costs down as you don't really need to have a massive charger charger in that guy to actually output that much uh, wattage and also too it just helps to keep the devices protected as the last thing you want to be doing is whacking a 500 watt charger on a little phone because it's going to turn into a Note 7 situation pretty fast. But many phone batteries out there can actually accept more than just the standard 5 watts that manufacturers offered. So what they do is actually implement a small controller to manage how much charge you can actually put through these phones and a lot of the time it can easily handle up to 20 watts of charge, meaning the standard 5 watts is going to be way slower than the fast charging technology. And the way these phones actually achieve these high wattages is by having a supported charger and a supported phone. The phone will then talk to the charger and basically make a handshake and then the correct wattage, voltage and amperage is given to the phone to make it charge a lot faster. Now with that being said, fast charging definitely goes a whole lot more in depth than we could make like a whole massive video on that, but for the sake of keeping things simple today, the way fast charging works is you have a controller in this guy that talks to a controller on the actual power adapter, then it sends the correct amount of current, ampage, wattage, all that kind of stuff to the phone to charge it up a lot faster. But again, much more detailed things can definitely be done. Let me know down in the comment sections if you want a little bit more in depth about fast charging. This will then allow the phone to charge up from 0 to 80, 0 to 90 or whatever percentage in a certain amount of time which will be much faster than your standard stock charger. However, the closer they do get to 100%, the slower the actual phone charges up and thus then when it gets to 100% we won't be seeing any damage. But with that being said, does going from 0 to say 80 in half an hour actually go ahead and do any damage? Let's go ahead and find out. Again, this is my Huawei P9 that I've been using for about a year or so as a daily driver off and on. However, with that being said, every single night for the past year and a bit I've been plugging this guy into a fast charger and leaving it there for as long as I actually need to. So this guy's basically lived on the fast charger if it hasn't been in my pocket, which arguably hasn't been the best thing for this phone. And if we pull up some battery statistics and battery information here, we see the battery is actually still in basically good condition. In fact, when I did my runtime test when I first got this phone versus today, we can see right here, there isn't exactly any negative impact. In fact, the software updates that have come to the Huawei P9 have actually increased battery life, so any damage and battery life loss from using a quick charger 
basically has been, well, ignored because we've gotten much better software optimizations that's made the battery in the phone last a whole lot longer, at least a bit longer than what we did get out of the box. So with that being said, when it comes to my test, the optimizations really basically helped me and I didn't notice any negative effects. However, with that being said, that then leads us into a kind of gray area when it comes to fast charging and battery longevity. Fast charging is definitely a spec that manufacturers will build their phones to. A phone that supports fast charging has more than just the controller, it has a battery that's also too designed to accept much higher and faster charges. So that means it's not like they've just got any kind of phone out there and whacked a fast charging chip in there. There is a fair bit of engineering that does go into this type of thing. And so far, I haven't exactly seen 100% concrete evidence that we're going to lose X amount of percentage of life over time when it comes to using a fast charge device. This is also to, I guess, in part, thanks to the fact that this kind of technology has only really come out in the past couple years and we haven't really seen these phones get to their older points like the three and four years in their lifespan where the batteries are usually known to go pretty bad. On top of this, just general day-to-day -day wear and tear on the phone is going to actually use and damage the battery more than the fast charging itself. Because we all know for a fact a super old phone is going to have pretty terrible battery life because that battery is quite old and basically shot at that point. So whether or not fast charging is making much of a difference can be a little bit on the hard side to say. Then finally, not every battery is created equally. For me, I might have just got super lucky and had a really good battery unit in my Huawei P9. I know for a fact there's a lot of other people out there who have had terrible experiences with fast chargers, but that also to come back to the actual battery pack inside their phone. So, okay then, takeaway time of this video. Does fast charging actually damage your battery? In short, yes, it can definitely do that. In fact, it is damaging the battery in a very small amount. With that being said, it is so small that it's not really noticeable and the battery life improvements that a lot of manufacturers roll out over the lifespan of a device usually should correct this and you shouldn't be seeing too much of an issue. However, with that being said, there is still definitely some damage being done by a fast charger and if you want the maximum longevity of a battery, using a standard wall charger is definitely recommended. However, if you are a person who upgrades their phone every year or two years with a new contract, you really shouldn't be noticing too much of a negative impact from using a fast charger. Personally, from my experience, after one year of testing, I haven't noticed any kind of a change in terms of my battery life. In fact, my battery life has gone up thanks to the fact that Huawei's rolled out some pretty decent battery patches. So for me, in my testing, I haven't noticed a difference. However, if you do some Google searching, you'll definitely find a lot of people out there who have unfortunately been negatively affected by using a fast charger. So there is definitely some sort of damage being done but for a lot of handsets out there, you shouldn't really be noticing that much of an issue unless you're planning to keep that device for again, three, four, or even five years of running. However, with that being said, by the time your phone reaches five years old anyway, I'm sure the battery would have been shot from just general day-to-day -day usage. So whether or not the fast charging really makes that much of a difference, we'll have to keep our eye on. And because I've only used the Huawei P9 for about a year or so now, we haven't exactly had a massive time to test. So we'll be back again next year or at the start of 2019 to give you guys an update to see what kind of battery life we're still rocking with a fast charging device and see whether over two years there is really that much of a difference in performance. But let me know guys down in that comment section whether or not you like fast charging. Do you like the idea of being able to go from super low battery life up to something pretty reasonable in a low amount of time or do you want to get the maximum amount of life out of your phone by using the slower charger? Yes, there is still some damage being done but honestly it's not exactly as much as I was expecting when I first started these tests. But again, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.